Hi, and a huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen, and it is Smoothie Tuesday, and don't forget, on Tuesdays, we don't always just do smoothies, but I was thinking of you guys up in the Northern Hemisphere today. We went to a cafe and I had a hot chocolate. Here in Melbourne, they supply you with a block of chocolate on the end of a lolly stick here, and some hot milk. You pop that into your glass and give it a stir around. This makes one of the most delicious hot chocolates and they're very very simple to make and uh, they make a great gift idea I'll show you at the end a little sort of Christmas idea that you can do today I'm gonna make two varieties plain chocolate and one one of my favorites uh, with a little hint of chili in there now first of all you're gonna need some hot chocolate or some chocolate to make a melting chocolate I've got a Cadbury's here you can choose whatever your favorite is we're taking this over to the stove and we're going to melt it there I want to temper it slightly I don't want to do this in the microwave so let me show you what I'm going to do <laughs> Now I want to temper our chocolate slightly so we get a nice glossy finish to it and that's why I'm doing it on the stove. I've got a, a small amount of water in the bottom of a, a small saucepan here. I've got a glass pot which I'm putting on top. Now we're going to take our chocolate and I want you to put two thirds, I'm going to roughly work that out because I've done it many times, two thirds of the chocolate into the glass bowl and we're just going to let the water, the heat of the water melt the chocolate in there. Now you can see after a very short time, and this is not boiling water, it's just simmering, all our chocolate has beautifully melted like that. It's lovely and silky. We're now gonna take it off the heat. Now I've brought the chocolate over here and put it onto a wooden surface so it doesn't cool down too quickly. But what I do want to do is bring the temperature of this chocolate down, um, which will help it temper. So I'm going to take the last third of the chocolate and just mix it in there, and then continue to stir what this will do, I'm using a metal spoon as well, what this will do will reduce the temperature of the chocolate which effectively is a cheat way of tempering the chocolate but it does work very well. Now at this point I'm just going to lift it off of the hot water as well, put it straight down onto the wooden board so now it's not heating anymore and you can see very quickly the rest of that chocolate melts in there and this is a great tip if you want to temper chocolate the simplest way. Now that chocolate is beautiful and silky and smooth. Now in order to get our chocolate stirrers to look like this, I've got these little shot glasses, these are little plastic ones actually, and I'm going to be putting 30 grams, that's about an ounce of chocolate, into each of these. So I'll turn the scales on now. And I don't want to get any mess on the side if I can, so get the bowl nice and near, and then just drizzle the chocolate in there until you get the right amount. Now it doesn't matter if you go a little bit over or under. And when you've got your ounce of chocolate in there or 30 grams of chocolate in there, um, just take one of these lolly sticks, these little wooden lolly sticks here, and pop it in the center. And I found to stop it from uh, falling over, you can just pop a lolly stick either side whilst it sets. It really doesn't take uh, very long to set. And then put those aside and let it cool down. Now I've just returned the chocolate back onto the saucepan just to stop it from setting too quickly. And my second batch, I want to make them with a little bit of a chilli undertone. So I've got half a teaspoon of chilli oil here. Uh, you could use chilli flakes, but oil tends to work better. And I'm just going to put that half a teaspoon in there. Now what this will do is give the chocolate a real sort of hot aftertaste. I'm just going to mix that in. And then I'm going to take that hot chilli chocolate and measure it off in the shot glasses as I did the other ones. So my chocolate stirrers have set. I actually put them in the fridge just to firm up. And you'll see that if you take them now and just sort of push, push your thumb along the edge, it'll just release from the edge of the, the little shot glass. And one little pop, if we put a bit of pressure, maybe I have to do this side as well. One little pop and out it comes. And there you have it. There's my chocolate stirrer. That's ready either to decorate or to use. Now I've got some little nine inch squares of cellophane here and I'm just going to make these up as a little gift. So we can pop the uh, chocolate in there, the little chocolate stirrer, just pull the cellophane up the side. And if you pull that in tight like that, you can tie a little bit of uh, a bow around there. So there I've just tied a little ribbon to hold that together. And I'm going to use green for the chocolate and red ribbon for the chilli. Now there are my chocolate stirrers all wrapped up ready for Christmas gifts. Um, I put these ones in a little basket and they would even make great little tree hangers as well. Now I've got a piping hot cup of milk here, one stick ready to go and all you do is pop that into that hot milk 
and then you can just stir it around and the chocolate will slowly dissolve in the milk and you just continue to stir it you can see the chocolates melting there on the stick and this truly makes the best hot chocolate and mine has got a little bit of spice in there as well and there you go it's almost completely melted off the stick let's give this a try oh this makes the very best hot chocolate, trust me. It's only as good as the chocolate you use, mind you, but uh, absolutely wonderful, guys. Thank you very much. Share the love. Give me the thumbs up down below. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Now with Christmas upon us almost, uh, I'll be doing lots of other wonderful Christmas treats and recipes, but I'll leave a link to some of my older recipes there. And uh, please subscribe, be good, Comments down below, I love to hear from you. Take care, see you next time.